How's it going, guys? Welcome. Um, I'm back uh, in this, our third installment of uh, our act series called Mission Unstoppable. Uh, and today's lesson is very originally called Mission. Um, yeah, I hope you guys had a good week with school. Uh, I hope you exercise, you help your mom and dad with the chores. And I'm actually recording on a Friday, the Friday where we are apparently being um, taken to stage four. Um, so I did a little jog this morning, took my dog for a walk. Um, I hope they don't change this rule, but we'll see. Um, yeah, super stoked for this session that we have in store for you. We really hope you enjoy it. And yeah, like I said before, it's called Mission. And I'm just going to pray quickly. So if you can just lower your heads, close your eyes, and let's pray. Lord, um, I just pray during this time, during um, this time of COVID-19, that you would bless and protect this country, bless and protect the families, um, those most in need, um, the poor, the elderly. And yeah, Lord, that you would just provide for us, Lord, and that we would trust you in these times, Lord. Um, not any magical beans that are offered to us or anything like that, but we just put our faith in you. And um, yeah, for this lesson, I pray that we really apply it to our lives and take it seriously. In Jesus' name, amen. Cool. Over to you, Meg. So, I have two glasses of water here and food coloring. In this glass, I'm going to throw a bit of food coloring in and I'm going to try and scoop it out with a spoon before the water changes color. Okay, here we go. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, let's try something else. So in this glass is warm water and I have an ice cube here also with food coloring and I'm going to try and take the ice cube out before the water changes color. Let's see if this works. Oh, it's slippery. Okay, here we go. Are you ready? Go, 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 go. Oh no. So this was to show you guys that God cannot be stopped. There is some things that we just can't stop. We can't stop dye mixing with water. And just like that, we can't stop God. Obviously, today's lessons, we're still going to be continuing acts. Um, and that lesson is all about... Oh, sorry. My alarm is ringing. I thought I switched it off. Let me just stop it quickly. Um, uh, Okay, I think that's good. Okay, so today's lesson is on acts and it's mission unstoppable and I think I think you can still hear it, right? Okay, let me just you know bubble wrap, let's see if it covers I think that's okay, bubble wrap should do. Um so yeah, and today's lesson's titled Opposition. So this is where the Holy Spirit helps the disciples. Uh, you can, I think I can still hear it. Hold on, let me just Use this pillow quickly and whew, I think it's right, yeah? No, I can't hear it. Can I? Oh, it's still ringing. <sighs> the point of all this with the tape, the bubble wrap and the pillow is to show you that God cannot be stopped and other things cannot be stopped. And this alarm certainly could not be stopped with all of those things. So over to you, Dan. Hey guys, me again. Um, so I have an exercise for you, for you to do now, um, a mental exercise, mind you. And what I want you to do is to think of one thing you hate and one thing you love. Um, to give an example, I hate being unproductive. I hate not working. This is why I've struggled with this lockdown so much because I'm so unproductive. The days are blurring. Um, but I love being lazy. You can see my predicament. And for you guys, it might be you, you hate homework, but you love your parents. And usually as Christians, we tend to try and um, stay away from this word, hate, you know. But in the story today, you will see that there was, or there were, 
a group of people that hated the good news, right? The gospel that was proclaimed by the apostles um, after Jesus' death. And as crazy as this sounds, um, this group uh, actively targeted the apostles. So in this story today, um, I w well, this true story, I want you to identify three things, right? The first is the first two are quite easy. Who, who were trying to stop the spread of this good news? That's the first one. The second one is how they were trying to stop the spread of this good news. And the third question, which might um, require a bit more um, thinking, is why they were trying to stop this good news. So just to recap from last week, we learned that Jesus sent the Holy Spirit and the Holy Spirit enabled the disciples to speak in different languages so they can tell all the people about Jesus. And about 3,000 people trusted Jesus as their king and the first church in Jerusalem was started. Over to you, Paul. <laughs> Hello everybody and uh, welcome to God's Mission Unstoppable and um, that means that God is on a mission and he is on a mission to save the world and that mission cannot fail because God it's God's mission but the exciting thing is that God chooses to use us to use me and to use you and so it's important our actions are important Jesus before he went to heaven he told his disciples, go into all the world and tell them about me. Tell them the good news. And that applies to me and it applies to you. That's the, called the Great Commission. And that is how we need to be part of God's mission. The apostles, as we've read about in the Bible, they were beaten, they were persecuted, they were put into prison, and they ended up praising God, saying, thank you, God, that we are worthy to be part of your suffering. That's amazing. How on earth could they do that? How could they get the courage to be praising God? And the answer is a battery or a bigger battery, right? A battery. And like a battery gives us power um, for our car or power for our toys. The Holy Spirit gives us power. Power to do what? Well, power to tell people about Jesus. So it's very important that when you're part of God's mission, you get powered in God's way. Right? So let's pray right now and ask the Holy Spirit to give us power to tell people about Jesus. Holy Spirit, we thank you that you are God. And we thank you that you give us power. Please fill us right now with your power and courage to tell people about you. Amen. We're going to look at some videos now about different examples of people telling people about Jesus. Some of them will be good and some will be bad. And after each video, pause it and think about what did um, the person do well and what did they not do well. So... We're going to look at that now. What? You go to church? What a waste of time. I don't think so. I think it's helpful. The church I used to go to stole money from people and forced them to get involved in things they didn't want to do. I'm so sorry to hear that. That sounds terrible. Do you know Jesus was always really angry with church leaders who abused their power? Tell me more. What? Do you go to church? What a waste of time. Um, I don't think it's a waste of time. I believe in Allah. It's the same God we serve. No, we don't. I'm going to heaven and you're going to hell. Wow. I believe in Allah. So we serve the same God. I think actually we differ on Jesus. I believe that Jesus is God and that no amount of good works can ever get us to heaven. So how do you believe that you can get to heaven? Well, I believe that Jesus is God and God punished himself so that he didn't need to punish us. And he did that by punishing Jesus. 
So you don't have to do good works? No, not to get to heaven, but I do good works because I'm thankful to God. Let me tell you what God has done in my heart. I'm so glad that science has disproved God. Now we can just all move on together. Interesting. Tell me more. Well, you know, um, long ago, like the, take thunder, for example, no one really knew how it worked. So they created a God to explain it. But now we know how thunder works. No need for God. Interesting point. But just understanding how something works doesn't mean you take away the creator. So, for example, if you have a car, somebody made a car. And just by understanding how a car works, that doesn't mean that now you... The person who's created the car has disappeared. So you think you were created? But who created God? I do think I was created, but I don't think God was created. I believe that God always existed. Think about it. You say that the universe created you. Who created your creator? Interesting point. I'm so glad that science has disproved God. Now we can all just move on together. You atheists are so arrogant. God will judge you. A God that judges me because I don't believe in him? What kind of a God is that? He's just a fairy tale. Okay, so we had some different examples. Some um, responses were good and some were bad. So we need to pray for the Holy Spirit to guide us and also use our brains to... Um, have the most impact when we speak to people. So I just want to end with the summary of some helpful things which I think will help us when telling people about Jesus. I think the first thing is remember what Jesus did for you. He went to the cross and he died a horrible death for you. And he was not ashamed to do that. So let's not be ashamed to do our bits for what Jesus asks of us. Remember that when you speak to somebody, it's like planting a seed and they might not respond. They might not respond straight away. But that's not your responsibility. Your job is to do what God has asked you to do. Plant the seed, which means tell them about Jesus. And that seed might stay in their mind. And later, somebody else might water it by telling them something else. And it might grow. So don't be discouraged. Show people that you love them. Because people don't care what you know until they know that you care. Show them love. Very important. Ask questions. Ask them questions. Ask them, what do you believe? Tell me about your faith. Tell me about your hurts. I'm sorry about your hurts. Tell me about you. And then people will start asking questions back once they see that you are interested. And be genuinely interested. Don't see people as a project, but see them as, as people made in the image of God. Remember that we are guaranteed persecution. We are guaranteed hardship by being a Christian. So if somebody is angry with you for telling them about Jesus, don't get surprised. Jesus promised that. But he also promised to protect us. Be bold. You, need, you have good reason to be confident in what you believe. And above all, pray for the Holy Spirit to give you power to be able to do God's unstoppable mission. Guys, so today's memory verse is in Acts 2, chapter 2, verse 21. Um, I'm going to teach you a little beat so that you guys can get this um, memory verse. So it's a simple one. So you're just going to um, hit your chest, click, snap. So maybe thump, snap, and then clap your hands. And then thump, thump again, then snap, then clap your hands. Okay, got that? So it's thump, snap, clap, thump, thump, snap, clap. Okay, so now the words are, and let me read it to you quickly. Everyone who calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. So I'll go, everyone who calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Okay, everyone who calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. I hope you guys got that. I hope it wasn't too complicated, but it's just a simple thump, snap, clap, thump, thump, snap, clap. Then everyone who calls on the name of 
the Lord shall be saved. Everyone who calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Everyone who calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. And that's Acts 2 verse 21. <laughs> okay, guys, over to Daniel. Cool. So we hope you enjoyed the session today. Um, believe it or not, we put a fair bit of effort into it. Um, it's not the same as seeing you guys face to face, but it is the best we can do during these times. Um, and we really hope you enjoy it and you get something from it and you get that spiritual sustenance we all need. Um, and I encourage you to learn that memory verse, even though we're not going to be giving you fizzes, maybe you can, you can convince your parents to give you a treat for learning it off by heart. Just an idea. And yeah, hope you enjoyed it. Um, I hope you gave some thought to those questions. So who was trying to stop uh, the good news spreading, how they were trying to stop the good news spreading, and why. Um, yeah, if you could give some, some thought to that, that would be great. Otherwise, guys, we will see you next week. And yeah, I hope and pray that you have a fantastic week doing chores, studying, exercising, being productive, not being lazy. That's my challenge this week. And yeah, see you guys next week.